So in this video, we'll talk about map interface. Now, when you talk about list or set, so those are the collection of elements, right? We have values there. So particularly if we talk about array list, where you put all your values and how to differentiate between different values is with the help of the index number. So let's say if you put a value like Naveen at the first location, you will use index number zero. Let's say you have the value as John, the second value, you will refer to it with the help of index number one. If you have Marisa, that's the second name, or the third name for that matter, the index number would be two. So the, to differentiate between different values, we use index numbers. But the problem is, we humans, we are not that comfortable with numbers, right? So for every value, I need some specific key, right, which I can represent. Example, let's say Naveen would be, let's say I will use a key as uh, my name, right? So my name is a key and Naveen is a value. My favorite actor, I will say John. So the key would be actor and the value would be John, right? So we need a key value pairing here. And to achieve that, to achieve key value pairing, we use map. So how do we use map? We say map. Then we, let's say we have object name as well as map. And then we'll say new. The problem is this map is an interface, right? So if I import this, again, it belongs to java.util. And if I go to map, it's an interface. Now it takes two generic values. One is k and v. Now k represents key here and v represents value. So it's actually a key value pair. So map is an interface. Now how can you create object of map here? So we can use hash map. And we need to import the package for as hash map as well. And we got the package ready, however. Now, how do you put values here? Now the thing is, map takes two things. One is the key and second would be the value. Now to put those values, we have to say, now instead of using add, we, we use a method as put because in array list in set, we used to use add method, but here we have to use put method. Now this put method will take two parameters. One is the key. I will say my name, that's the key. And we can have a value here, we'll say Naveen, and we'll say map put, we'll say actor, my favorite actor, I will say John, and we'll say my favorite CEO, and that's Marisa. So we got these three values here, we got Naveen, we got John, and we got Marisa. So everything here as a key, right? So you have John is actor, and Marisa is CEO. Now that's how you create a map. Now the problem is, when you talk about array list, when you talk about uh, set, we always use generic types, right? Because we want to make our collection API type safe. Now how do you make this type safe? So again, we have to use certain type safety here, right? So we can use generics here. So I will say k, comma v, because this k, comma v represents this is key and value. But if you specify the type of it, so time in both are string, right? So both these are string. So we can specify that with the help of string. So we'll say string, string. And we are just have to use the uh, diamond bracket, that's it. And you got your map there. So once we once we created the list, once we created the map and we can put these values here. Now what will happen if I try to print the map? I will say print the map. If I run this code. Okay, so we got a map in this format. We got actor, John, we got my name, Naveen, and we got CEO, Marisa. And you can see it is not in a proper sequence. The sequence should be my name, actor, and CEO, right? But the sequence is not getting mapped. You're right. In your brain somewhere you have said that maybe somewhere it is implementing set because in, in has set as well, we don't get things in a sequence, right? So you can see the name itself. The name is hash map. So in hash set hash map, they both uses a concept of hash code and they, they, don't, they don't give you the actual sequence which in which you are adding the values. So that doesn't matter. We can print all the values like this. But let's say I want to print the values in one by one sequence. How can you do that? Now the problem is, if I use a uh, enhanced for loop to print the mass, to print all this stuff, the problem is, how would I know the sequence? Because in list and set, we can use index numbers, right? How we can use index number here? What we normally do here is, let's, let's try to fetch one value. Let's fetch Naveen here. Now how do we fetch Naveen? Is, we'll say system.out.println. I will say map.get. So in this get method, you have to specify the key. No index number here, we have to specify the key. The key is my name, okay? And if I run this code, you can see we got Naveen. If I change this key from my name to actor, and we'll say run, we got John, right? So that's how you that's how you specify th stuff. Let's say if I say, by mistake, if I, if I type one here, we don't have that stuff in my map, so it will give you null. 
So for any key which is not available, it will give you null. So there's no exception of that kind that something like identity sort of bound exception. We don't have those exceptions here. It will, it will simply give you null. So in this get method, you have to specify the key. So once you specify the key, you will get the value. So that means if I keep changing the keys, I will get the values, right? So I can put this thing in a for loop and every time I will change the key, right? But hold on, from where I will get the key? Now the awesome thing is in map, we have a method called as key set. Now what is this key set is? So key set will give you a set of keys. So it will give you my name, it will give you actor, it will give you CEO. And we can store that value in a set, right? So we can say set of string, uh, we'll say this is keys equal to map dot key set. Now once we got key set, let me import the package. Once we got the key set, we can say string key colon keys, right? That's how you can use enhanced for loop here. And we can print the key here with some space and we'll print value as well. And if you run this code, you can see we got everything in a proper sequence. We got actor, we got my name, and we got CEO with John, Naveen, and Marissa. So that's how we can use map interface. We can put the values and then we can fetch the values. Now, since we are saying that this thing is a set, does that mean we cannot repeat it? Let's say if I say put, and again, if I say actor, and if I change this value to, let's say, Akshay, what happens if I say Akshay now? Will it not take the value? Uh, let's let's see the behavior. If I run this code, so again, we are getting only three values, not four. It was supposed to be four, but we got three. Now, why we got three? Because it uses set, right? So all these keys is a set of values. So it will not repeat. So what is happening is when you assign the value Akshay to actor for the second time, it will replace the original value. So it will replace this John by Akshay. Okay, that, that's how your map works. So these are values. I mean, we can repeat values here. So I can, it's, I can say Naveen. So I can have two Naveen, but we cannot have two actors, right? So the, it will replace the value. So actor is also Naveen and my name is also Naveen. So we can repeat these values, but we cannot repeat these keys because this is set of keys and this is list of values. In, in list, we can repeat the values. Now this, this is one way of implementing map. The second way of implementing map is with the help of hash table. So hash table is also a class which implements map. So if I go to hash table, even hash table implements map. Where is that? Uh, it's here. So hash table implements map. Now the awesome thing about hash map is that I mean the difference between hash map and hash table is one is synchronized, the other other one is not. Hash table is synchronized and hash map is not synchronized. Okay, so when you know that you have we don't want to achieve thread safety, of course you should go for hash map. But if you if you want thread safety, go with hash table. Okay, so that is one thing. In fact, hash, everyone uses hash map. Rarely every, anyone uses hash table. So given a choice, you will always use hash map. Okay, so instead of hash table, we'll be using hash map. But remember, we do have hash table. So that's it from this video. We have talked about map. 